Now I'm sure you already heard about this uh, new Pablo Escobar's holding company and their uh, foldable phone thingy. It's making headlines all over the internet with their new Escobar Fold 2 and uh, rest in peace Samsung campaign. Basically Escobar Inc. is the Pablo Escobar's holding company which is managing all the money that Escobar made selling drugs. And now they are using that money to make more money. They have established another affiliate company of their own called Pablo Phone and they are apparently buying a lot of overstocked items of uh, folding phones like the Royal FlexPy and the Galaxy Fold and then rebranding it as the Pablo Escobar Fold or Escobar Fold 2. I'm pretty sure you've seen this uh, detailed video made by Aaron at Mr. Who's the Boss. He said that he ordered the uh, Escobar Fold 1 which was nothing but a Royal FlexPy but he didn't get it. Instead they gave him a Fold 2 which is basically a Galaxy Fold which was just overstocked at some store so they bought it in bulk and they are selling it off for $399. Now I know that it's an overstocked item and uh, it's not really their product but $399 for a Galaxy Fold seems almost too good to be true. So I started uh, doing some digging on my own and I emailed their team about it asking some questions. First thing I was wondering is that uh, whether they will ship to India because they do promise worldwide free shipment so I asked the same thing, uh, will you ship to India and I'm in Bangalore at the moment. And they said yes, they do have uh, worldwide free shipping, they will deliver to your door. And they say the delivery would take about 2-3 to three weeks, which is pretty standard I would say. That would be fine, but this is an overstocked product, so they may not offer any official Samsung warranty to it. So I was wondering what would be the uh, repair situation like, because this is a folding phone and the chances of it having physical damages is far more than say uh, any other phone. So I asked them about what are the warranty and repair conditions like and they said that they offer one year warranty with no questions asked. So if you have a problem six months down the line, you basically have to contact them and uh, they'll give you a shipping label. You just have to print the label and uh, stick it on the parcel and send it back to them. They'll take care of the charges and they'll send you a new unit, supposedly free of cost. And that should be delivered to you again uh, in a matter of few weeks. It's supposed to be shipping from Sweden. Uh, that may be the case for now because they say that there are very limited stocks. Some people in US when they ordered they got it from Dubai, some people got it from France. So they have warehouses everywhere and uh, they seem to be doing pretty well in terms of uh, shipping of it. Now obviously since it's going to take 3 weeks, uh, there are very high chances of your package getting lost. It has happened to me before when I have imported a few items from China so I was naturally worried. I will be paying $399 and if it turns out to be an empty box then what do I do? So I asked them is there a refund in any circumstance like uh, what if you buy the product and uh, now you, you actually got the product but you feel like you don't need it anymore. Can I return it? Is there a return policy like what Amazon offers 30 days returns at full refund? They really didn't answer my question in a straight way. <laughs> they basically said please only order it if you want the item. So I guess basically they are just trying to uh, protect their business from uh, buyer's remorse. You know that moment when you uh, feel like you want something and you buy it and when you got it in your hands, you feel like why did I waste so much money on this and now I want to return it. Every company deals with customers like this and even though it's your fault, a uh, company will be at loss and they will have to bear the shipping charges and everything. So obviously they want to protect themselves against that and uh, I guess that's why they are saying no refunds for uh, reasons like you don't want it anymore. If you have a genuine concern then they'll provide a new one but uh, no full refunds as of now. Now the way you place the orders itself is a little bit sketchy. They don't have a payment gateway set up over at their website. They basically give you all their bank details and ask you to make a wire transfer of $399 to their account. Now I did place the order for the phone, uh, call me crazy but I want to see that thing in my hand. But I have a few issues about uh, transferring the payment itself. Now I have confirmed the order but I haven't finished the payment as of now. So every day I'm getting an auto-generated email basically giving me the same information over and over again. They are sending their bank details and asking me to finish the payment. Now yesterday I faced uh, some issues with my uh, bank account so I couldn't do it. I'll try again today and uh, yeah I will be ordering the phone. So the title wasn't clickbait, I did order the phone. So they like keep reminding me that it's a limited stock which doesn't really inspire confidence because what if I order and they say that um, we don't have stock for the next two months. So I'll be waiting for two months and I'll completely forget about the money I paid and they'll take advantage of that. Hopefully that doesn't happen because the company seems relatively legit. I mean Escobar is a legendary name. So they wouldn't be doing all these bold claims of RIP Samsung and stuff without actually having the balls to back it up. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll finish the payment. $399 is something like, I, I don't know how much it will be. Maybe it'll add some tax to it because you know but yeah that's okay i mean we spend money on useless shit all the time why not spend money on something cool for a change if everything works out great i'll have a fully functioning galaxy fold at that price if not well i wasted that money in the name of science so that's it for now just a quick update on my side about the uh, escobar fold and uh, the whole 
Escobar folding phone situations. If you have any questions, then feel free to drop some comments down below. Uh, if there are any major updates, I'll be sure to uh, let you know through a video. And any minor updates will, you know, probably just be in the description. Check out my other channel if you haven't. Uh, I'll post content on there soon. I know it's looking a little bit dry at the moment, but you know, everyone has to balance some shit. With that said, until next time, take it easy and I'll see you soon.